everybody, my name is Colleen Evans. I am Director of Natural Sciences at the Staten Island Museum. And today I'm gonna to share with you one of our attic's most infamous residents, the mummified cat. So there are a couple things that we can say for certain about the mummified cat. First of all, that it is a natural mummified cat. So this cat was not prepared by humans, um, as you would see, say, coming out of tombs in Egypt or something like that. Um, this cat, according to the stories around it, was found by one of the museum founders, Charles Lang, underneath his house, um, supposedly near a boiler. And that would make sense, considering that for mummification to occur, you need um, extreme conditions of some kind. And near a boiler, you would have probably high heat and low humidity. And so that would allow the body to dry out faster then the enzymes could break down the cells after the cat had died. Another thing we can definitely say about the cat is that he has no signs of trauma, uh, so he probably died of natural causes. And also that it is a he uh, that is definitely stamped all over his bottom. This is a boy cat, not a girl cat. Um, what's really remarkable about the mummified cat is that you can see basically every bone in his body. So you can see he's got his ribs there that are very visible. You can see all of his leg bones down into his paws. You've got all of his claws are visible. So cats have those retractable claws um, and you can definitely see those on him. You also can see all of his vertebra along his spine here and especially down into his tail. Um, so you get a really great look at to the skeletal structure of a cat by looking at this guy. Um, I personally find him kind of charming uh, he look, He obviously looks like he kind of just curled up and passed away. And while that is a little sad, um, it is a thing that happens to everybody eventually. So, uh, but thank you for joining me again today to visit one of our collection objects here in the attic. And I hope that you will join us again soon.